the Spanish announce table. You are uh, going to hire us. Uh, this will tra- look, look at this uh, cool transition. This is some radio work right here, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. So if you hire us, uh, we would love to help out. Although we would not be considered independent contractors as WWE wrestlers are. Mm-hmm. Tim, you want to take it off mm-hmm. with the first story? Yeah, about that. I mean, we've talked about WWE and the way they, that segue was. Transition, that huh? Was, that was, see, you are good. See, don't doubt your own abilities, Tom. It's all about, don't put a mental block in your own way, Tom. You are the best Tom you know. You know what I'm saying? Recording a wrestling podcast on a Thursday night. Absolutely. Yeah, when you really dial it down. The further you're the best Tom you know, and the further you dial that down is just more and more true. Ah, so uh, what were we saying? Oh yeah. <laughs> WWE and the way they treat their talent is a term that I like not to well. use, right? Because they are not employees and never have been. They are independent contractors, which means they don't have to provide them, you know, health benefits and some other sorts of things like that. And that was sort of doable until COVID hit, right? I mean, <laughs> Uh, and months ago now, WWE kind of gave a notice to, to the wrestlers. This is a little bit kind of bouncing around here, but they gave a notice to him saying, Hey, uh, you guys have been on some third party apps, uh, content providers, things like Twitch cameo cameo is a service where like you're a famous person and somebody will pay you to go like, Hey, Julie, Julie Happy Johnson birthday. at 23rd and 14th Street in New York. Happy yeah. birthday. The Rock says you're awesome, right? Uh, they were doing a lot of those things um, and some other things, that were, you know, other sites like that. And they said, hey, can't do that anymore. Uh, you got to shut them down or we're assuming control of those, be it we being the company. And you will receive a portion of the money you make off of that. But, and this is the kicker, that portion will go against your downside guarantee. A downside guarantee being their base pay, right? We sign up. I'm you're a brand new wrestler, Tom. I'm Vince McMahon. I'm gonna sign you up with a downside guarantee of a million a year for 400 appearances, whatever it may be. And then mm-hmm. anything you make off the top of that is, you know, we're gonna work a deal with merch, right? We're gonna say you're gonna get, you know, whatever your merch deal is. You know, John Cena probably gets more percentage per his material than other people. That kind of thing, right? Your your additional spot fees, those sorts of things, your royalties, all that comes off the top. So if it goes against their downside guarantee, then no, they're not making any money at all right. off of that. Mm-hmm. I, my question to begin with, if I'm one of them, is, oh, well, do these count against my appearances then? Like every time I'm doing Ooh. a damn Twitch, is that right? Every, I'll do a twi- I'll do 50 Twitches tonight, right? <laughs> and we'll knock this that out. That means 50 uh, less appearances, yeah. You know sure. what I'm saying? So that's a little weird. I, I'm, I'm a little wondering about the legalities of something like that. Now... You would think a lot of shit should be illegal in the United States of America that is not in regards to employee-employer relations. And this is where some of that comes involved. Zelina Vega kind of stood her ground. And part of the deal with COVID is a lot of these folks aren't making any of that money we said, right? If they go on tour and they're selling their merch or they're making these additional appearances that they set up at the car sales or whatever, all of that's gone. All of it's gone. All of it. So they were making a large portion of their makeup money off of these things. Zelina Vega said she was making more off Twitch than her WWE contract at the moment. So she says, Mm -hmm. no, absolutely not. And she kept doing it. Kept twitching, started an OnlyFans for her cosplay to try to say, hey, this isn't WWE related content. Um, yeah, it's getting a little iffy. Um, they got, they said, no, we stop. Give us that too. And she was like, I'm out of here. Right. And she, re- you know, got a release. She got fired. She, yeah. She also tweeted that she supports unionization and the SAG president got involved and said they support her. Apparently they had a conversation. I don't know what came out of that, but SAG has started to indicate that they might want to be welcoming to pro wrestlers which is amazing the screen actors guild for anybody who doesn't know is like what the movie stars tv tv folks writers all those folks they they work they get credits towards that and then they can get things like a retirement benefits and, a, mm-hmm. and things like that through that union for you know because individual movies aren't providing you health care and a move right these producers so right. that's what they do for them i think that's prime where the wrestlers don't have to start their own union i just think it should move into something like that you know but I agree. Or WWE has fought that 
tooth and nail since the days of Hogan, Jesse Ventura. Oh, so, so, Andrew so. Yang chimed in. He's a possible Biden cabinet member. He's not likely to be, I don't think. But he said, I haven't forgotten about Vince McMahon when somebody asked him about the situation. Right. WWE is going to have to answer to this sooner or later. That's a fucked up policy. That policy's so, whack, right? Like, so let bad. me play devil ad- devil's advocate okay. just a little bit, though. And then let me make a, a bigger gripe about social media and why it frustrates me just in pro wrestling. Mm -hmm. I 1 million percent wholeheartedly think that Zelina Vega, and I don't know her name, her real name off the top of my head, but if that's what she wrestled under before, I think, right? Yeah. Let's just say it's Jessica Jones, whatever. Right. And if she wants to, yeah, right. If she wants to do cameos and twitches and only fans as Jessica Jones, I think, like I said, 1 million percent. Yep. Do all of it. But if you want to be Zelina Vega to play again, devil's advocate, WWE owns that name. You don't own that name. So now you're taking, even though you're playing that character, you're taking that character out of WWE's grasp and saying, I, as Zelina Vega, can go on Cameo or Twitch and maybe make controversial statements that puts WWE in a bad position, yeah. right? So if they're on Twitch and, you know, AJ Styles was even talking about, you know, that little controversy he had where he said, Paul Heyman got my friends fired. Well, on that Twitch uh, stream, it was AJ Styles. It was not whatever his real name is, Anthony Joseph or whatever. So that's where I would say, hey, if you're going to do this stuff, again, go at it. Go 100%. But you can't be saying you're a character name when the character's name is owned by the company. So here's the issue, right? Um, and I, I agree with that in a whole heart. Whereas, like, if I'm WWE, I'm going to structure all my contracts to say, you are this character under this name. Any social media you have using this name is owned by the company. Like, we'll set up right. the social medias for that. You can use yep. it if you want. We'll yep. own it. You'll get mm-hmm. the percentage. The going against the downside guarantee is fucked up. I think they should that should yeah. be on top. That That's should be a, stupid. Uh, that should be right. over the top. That should be a perk. Form. But um, so, and then your real name. We're, we're not touching that. That's you. What does John Cena do? He's got to do something different. He's got to be. You know what I'm saying? So there's well, there's there's things to work out, right? I mean, there's 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 gray areas. There always is. So there's something to work out. But I think as a base, what you said is correct. What right. they're doing right so, now and saying. Surrender them now. We're taking your money. Yeah, and especially fuck in you. a time like right now. Yeah, in a time yeah. right now, this is bullshit. A year ago, before all of this kind of hit the fan, I think I wouldn't be as. I'm mean, okay. Let me back up. I'm very sympathetic to the independent contractor because, uh, for those who don't really understand what independent contractor means, it means I, as the contractor, can show up and whatever time I want. And, you know, we'll agree that I will finish this project in a certain time frame. but that's it. You pay me. I will finish this task for you, but I can wake up at nine o'clock or I could wake up at four o'clock and do this job for two hours today and eight hours tomorrow. And then again, it's going to be done on December one or whatever it is. And that's the uh, uh, agreement. But obviously WWE wrestlers have to show up to TV at a certain time. They have to be an appearance at this certain time. So it's like, you're not an independent contractor. That's the bullshit well, part. And so I even get, if you have like an independent contractor status, we say, all right, I'm going to contract you for this, but I, but I need somebody here at this time, this time, this day. Do you agree to that? Or I'm going to, I need somebody on these and it'll be cycling. It may change based on this. Do you agree to that? And they go, sure. But what I think should not be allowed with, to classify somebody as an independent contractor is if you then say, okay, but you're exclusive. Well, no, now we're, I'm no longer independent, right? Like an independent contract should be able to show up over yeah, on wherever, here, fucking there. TNA and be like, I'm on the weird show now, but mm-hmm. that doesn't happen. You say we're exclusive. Well, okay. So now for exclusive, we're talking a different ball game. I feel like, right. and now mm-hmm. that's not the case with a lot of legal, uh, you know, contract and employee laws. Mm-hmm. I just think it, I think we should all agree to work those laws to make that as such because WWE, these are their fucking employees, and I hate that they want to act like they're anything, but these are your fucking employees. Treat them right, 
And get I the agree. fuck out of here. And I think a guy like Vince McMahon is a major hindrance from that. I think people like a Stephanie McMahon and a, and a Triple H probably see that mm-hmm. they understand business and they're going to fucking hold it back as long as they can yeah. because it's cost effective, right? But, like, mm-hmm. I think if the pressure came on, they would be like, okay. You know what I mean? But I think they would be smart to also go, okay, you guys should go deal with the SAG. I we You know, we know what the SAG is. We can ha- Our lawyers already know how to deal with the SAG. But, like, if it comes to that, I think they would rather have them do that than try to treat them as employees, give them health care, give them fucking sick and leave time. You know what I mean? I think they're going to keep firing these motherfuckers and saying – these independent workers who want a chance, they'll sign this contract. It's 2000. Because again, man, that, but again, everyone in WWE. Might, would gets, that be the death of them? Because they can sign a bunch of fucking ROH talent that sucks and nobody will watch it after a while. Oh, yes, they will. Look at the fucking hey, talent. When right there was now. a better product 20 years ago, they started to lose. It wasn't until that product became shit that right. they started to win again. Well, right now there's a better product. Eventually people are going to see the light. You you think you think that, but right now this year they posted their biggest profitable year in the company's history. So Jesus to them, Christ. they don't give a fuck that the point zero six rating is going in AEW's favor, not them. They say we someday gotta- they're gonna have to answer to it. And when well, they do, I think th- they would be better off to say like, "You guys should handle that because that's a known entity." Yeah, their lawyers already that might know be, how to uh, deal with that. But yeah, that might be Triple H and Stephanie's daughters that will be answering that. Triple H, Stephanie, and Shane; those motherfuckers are ingrained. They're not fucking going away from anything that Vince has done. They're not. Yeah, when they're Vince sticking is dead. To- it's a different now they story. They don't give a shit. Oh, so, they're yeah. like, no, <laughs> this is what my dad would do. remember. Stephanie McMahon has such a warped drunk baby brain yeah, that when 9 11 yeah. happened she equated it to her father getting uh federal charges uh, uh for steroid use that's what that's where her brain went 9 11 for her was the same yeah. as her dad getting steroid charges brought ag- brought against him. they are trump level celebrity famous yeah they're, but they're, they're very they're very trump like right where they're famous but everybody goes oh Oh that! Oh those! Oh the McMahons! Oh mm-hmm. yeah, right, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like oh yeah, those guys. A little bit of shyster going on over mm-hmm. there. But all right, yeah, hey, they they got money but so far. All right, let's do one sure. other thing I was gonna mention uh, on top of that is, and I've probably said this in, in the past on a podcast episode, but th- there go there goes again a little bit of my gripe with, you know, if if uh, if Bailey broke her ankle on SmackDown, then on Twitter, Bailey shouldn't be showing me wind sprints. You know what I'm saying? That's whatever her real name is. I don't know what her name is. But like yeah. that that's again where I don't like this, oh on TV I'm playing a character. You know, perfect example right now, Sami Zayn. I love Sami Zayn. I think Sami Zayn is one of the best. He's been one of the best for me as a baby face. His heel work right now is amazing. But then when he does all of these Twitter rants about like social justice issues that are real, like real things, that's not consistent with Sami Zayn on SmackDown. And that's where we're like, well, what are we doing? Go by your real name, make these statements, say all the bullshit you want. And then your, uh, you know, WWE handle can be watch me take on Bobby Lashley at Survivor Series and all that shit. But talk shit as Sami Zayn, the character. But then, yeah, that's where this whole thing is. is remy yeah. something right like yeah sure but that's again where we're getting into these weird things where like your favorite wrestler <laughs> yeah oh yeah but again but again <laughs> I, I the art you know i'm not one of these dave Meltzer's. do you know that he was born in syria and 90 19- fuck off okay i just want to see what's on my television and enjoy it i don't give a that's yeah. the other thing we need to stop fucking caring so much and we'll get into let's get into the second news story and i'll bring it up but let me have this caveat before we need yeah, to stop I got one ca- too, caring so fucking much about these personal lives uh, of these people. They're entertainers. Like, enjoy the entertainment. Stop it. The Spanish announce table. 